Day 12 of the Rune Journey. Eiwas and Yera. So here we have Eiwas, the yew tree. The yew tree, the tree of death and life, the tree of initiation. And then we have Yera, which literally means the year. But it's often, um, it's like, um, uh, it's the harvest. So when we combine these two, and I made this sound symbol out of it, it's like the harvest of our initiation. And maybe it's, it's the, this, the, uh, it's a cyclic, it's a cyclical thing, so it's, it's cyclic. Every time we have a new uh, initiation and we harvest again. So these are the, the middle two runes that we fall together. We started with Feu and Dagas and going slowly to the middle of the ship. So um, first we made, in the eventually we started with a 24 rune journey, 24 days. And then we started to fold the runes together. So this is, was uh, inspired by a vision of Freyr, like the ship of Freyr. It, it can be folded together. The runes, the, the dwarves made a ship. You can fold it together, put it in your pocket, and you can take it out of your pocket and unfold it. And it's a huge ship, and you can fly through the sky and go through the water. And there's always a good wind, wind going with the ship. So that's the blessed ship that we are, we have been building. So the first, first we had 24 days of 24 runes. Then we have 12 days of the combinations of runes, starting with Fehu and Dagas. And, and then we follow the runes. And now we have been, co co we've been starting in the east, north, west, south. But eventually it was the, the third step of the rune journey that will, would take us beyond time and space. So the, the, the third step is folding the runes together again. So now we have 12 combinations of runes, but then we have six combinations of four runes. And when we have six combinations of runes, I was guided to place them in the six directions around me, those four runes at each direction and made the story out, out of this built a house at each location and, and have an adventure there. And then the next step is folding the runes back again. And then, so we have uh, six combinations of four runes we fold together into three combinations of eight runes. And then we have three combinations. So for me, it made sense. These, these are Earth, Verdandi and Skuld. And Earth, Verdandi and Skuld, they rule, they rule over the threads of life. They weave the, the threads of our life the, uh, and uh, our tap tapestry. And so Earth knows all about the past and Verdandi has her eyes in the here and now and Skuld knows what's coming. So you can also translate it at past, present and future, but that is rather flat. flat. We rather give them uh, a, a, a spirit, you know, Earth, Verdandi and Skuld. It's more like uh, what time really is. It is a spirit. So, and then when we fold the runes together again, then we get the Ictra seal. We bring all the 24 runes back to the world tree where Odin had received the, the runes at the Ictra seal, the world tree. And then when we fold the runes together and create this world tree, I made a painting out of this, the 24 runes together. This, this, this world tree, the Ictra seal, it's uh, it's the 24 runes combined, but it's also Odin because Odin and the Yggdrasil, they be became, they become one. And when we make this journey, we become one with the Yggdrasil, with Odin, with the 24 runes, and we become the rune master. So, so this has been done before, and that's why it was now we take like the second step and we already go to the six directions because that's the that's a really powerful way of working with the runes just 
place them around you in the six directions. So we started, you know, we can go in both ways. Now we started with Fehu and Dagas. We started with the breakthrough in the material, the Dagas, the breakthrough and the, the, the insights and this, this opening of the spirit eye and the Fehu, the Fehu is about possession, but it's also about uh, it's the material and the immaterial, but we become aware of this, of this. That's that's where the where the journey started, and now we end with the initiation, the harvest of our initiation. But we can also go the other way around. So we start with with the harvest, and we start with the initiation. So let's let's follow these two ways to travel. So we started now with in the east with the sunrise we started with dagas the new day and the, and the, and and fehu so we become aware of the material and the immaterial and then we move north and there we have the ancestors of otala standing on this ooze this ancient power rooted in the earth this and then we go west with Turisas and Ingwas, so that's here we have Thor and we have the hammer and we have the Fanders and we have and we have also uh, Ingwi Freier, we have uh, the one uh, Freier, Ingwi Ingwas is the god that initiated this rune journey and we have this combination of these two and then we go south and we have Lagus and Ansus, so there the gods they speak to us through the water. Then we move up with Manas and Rido. We make this spirit travel. And then we go down with Evas and Kaunas and we ride this fire horse. This Evas, the horse and the Kaunas the, the, and the, the torch. And we stay down there and we we find we uh, find the gift of life, we the gift of the of bird and 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 the the birch tree the, the giving bird and and uh, gebo the the gift of the gift of life and then we go up with tivas and wunjo so with tivas with tear we find uh, the spiritual warrior within and we travel with with Wunjo, so we know which direction which direction to take. And when we go back to the south, now we go to the south and we have Haglas. Now we are really powerful with this Tivas. We have Haglas and we are facing the real trouble in our life and, and we are we becoming awake there. And we have also the solar power there with Haglas and so willow. We go now we go clockwise we went clockwise and we go west and there we have uh, nauties and algis the moose the antlers of the moose so we have this protection this connection from the worlds above and we are rooted in our faith with with uh, nauties we accept what we cannot change and, and while we are accepting what we cannot change we also realize what we can change. And then we go north again, and there we have, we become still in ourselves with Isa, with the eyes, and uh, the mysteries reveal themselves. When we become quiet, the mysteries of Perto. And then we came to the final day of this 12 day rune journey with I was the yew tree, the tree of death and life, the initiation, and we ha harvest this initiation. But when we go, we can also go the other way, start in the middle of this boat, the middle of the 24 rooms, and we start with the initiation, with, we start with the yew tree, and we pray at the yew tree, and we harvest our initiation there, and then we go north, and then we become silent and quiet in ourselves and the mysteries of the runes and the mysteries they reveal themselves and we move we move west and we ask Freyr to give his blessings and we have the power of Thor. No, no, that's not, that's, is that the step? I'm, 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 am I mixed up now? No, we, no, that is, 
the other way around. So uh, now we have algies and nauties. So and then sorry. <laughs> so we have algies and nauties there in the and, and we have the protection and we accept our fate and we continue with Hagelas and so willow where we really face and we're really wakening up and we go up with Tivas and Bunjo and we go down with with uh, uh, Berkana, with the bird tree and Gebo, the gift of life and we stay down there with the horse and the torch so we ride through the underworld with this torch riding this horse, this power go back up and we find Raido and Manas, our spirit travel and we go back south with with Lagus and Ansus and the gods they speak through the water and we go back west and now we see Turisas and Ingwas and we get the blessings for this journey and we go once to once back to Otala and Urus, the, the ancestors are with us and really connected with the earth and we come, we come back to Feru and Dagas and we have this breakthrough and we give thanks for for the material and the immaterial. So it is, um, you know, when you have this, these images, you make positive images with, and, and you feel you have a, a positive associations with these runes, you, you know, you give it something that is personal and you feel these fields of energy around you with these combinations of runes. And then we, when you do this, when you go kind of in a meditation or in a trance, you can uh, go around you like this and travel around you and you, you create a, a, a field of protection around you and only you know this field. And I've used this for, for spirit traveling and it, it's really powerful. And you can also, I've also made a video of this rune dance. You can find it on YouTube if you look at my videos. And you, and you can do this, you can, so you move more, you have this, this runes move in your energy and in your body and in your, in your energetic field. And you can come to certain places where you feel sacred places for you, you know, maybe in the woods or, or at the tree and there you do this visualization. And then when you do this, this you place those runes there on that spot like in a visualization, it makes it more easy to go back to that spot and make this connection, like um, to feel the, the energy of that tree or that special place where you want to be connected with. It's easier to make a, a connection with that place. That's this, in this way, I used this room journey. So these were the 12 days. This video was a little bit longer than the other ones. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this journey. and. It, gives you a lot of, it gives you some inspiration in, in your life. Sometimes it's really nice to use this magic and to have these things happening. And in other times we just need to find the peace and the quiet inside ourselves and just be quiet, you know. And uh, maybe that's more what, where I am at at this moment. But I, I, I give you my blessings and thank you for watching.